steps to embalming. Here's the preparation room. So that the deceased would be brought into the preparation room, undressed and placed on the preparation table. They're gonna be sanitized, their nose, their mouth, their eyes, their body. They'll be washed and assessed. At that point, the embalmer will mix up the fluid in the embalming machine. This is gonna be based on the condition of the deceased. There may be pre-injections, co-injections, arterial fluid, maybe high index, might have humectant in it or like lotion for the dead that is from the inside out working. Um, gonna be dyes and then water is the main vehicle for that. That's gonna be mixed up. You're gonna set the features of the deceased. That means close the eyes, close the mouth. We use little eye caps that go under the eyelid to help hold the eyelid closed. The mouth is either sutured closed with suture cord or string, or a needle injector is used. And a little pin with a wire is inserted in the top gum and the bottom gum, and then twisted tight to hold the mouth closed. The body is then um, assessed for what artery the person wants to use, the embalmer. Um, the carotid is often used where the jugular is up here in the neck. An incision is made, those vessels are raised, the fluid is pumped into the artery and the blood is drained out of the vein. Sounds simple in one statement. This can be quite complex if you have areas of the body that do not get distribution, you may have to raise more and more and more arteries. This are called points. If a body has was a three-point injection, it means you raised three arteries. Once the injection is done, the body is then aspirated. A long trocar or a hollowed out tube, metal tube with a point on the end is hooked up to a here is hooked up with suction. It's inserted in the abdomen and punctures around through the whole thoracic, the upper, and then the lower abdomen to take out as much um, fluid and solids as possible. We want to puncture as many internal organs as possible because once we're done aspirating and sucking out, we then replace with cavity fluid. This is strong, straight fluid is put back into the body. We then are going to close up. We're gonna suture up the incisions we've made, put some suture seal in there in case there's a little bit of leaking at all. Suture that up tight. We're gonna put a trocar button, a little um, not wired, uh, grooved that screws into the hole in the abdomen. We're gonna bathe the body again. We may have shaved as well, depending cut nails, doing those type of things during the embalming. Then we're gonna place some lotion for the dead on the skin, on the face and the hands, and then we're gonna cover the deceased with a sheet. That is the steps of embalming in a nutshell.